Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 10 startup and shutdown sounds are not working properly on your Windows device. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading over to the start button. And you want to left click on it one time. And now you want to type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. That's match that comes up should say regedit right above run command. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. And then you will receive a user account control window. You have to have administrative privileges in order to run this. So you want to select yes. And now I'm going to go underneath H key current user on the left side here. So you can either double click on this folder or click on this little arrow next to it to expand. And now I'm going to do the same thing for app events. And then I'm going to go underneath event labels. I'm going to expand that view. And I'm also going to drag this sidebar over a little bit further so we can see what the next thing we're going to be looking for will be. So now you want to scroll down on this list until you get to Windows Log Off and Windows Log On. They should be right next to each other. Right here. So we can see there's something that says Exclude from CPL. And if you click on both of these folders, you can see there's one for both. You want to double click on this Exclude from CPL, this reg underscore D word value on the right side here when you've selected this folder and you want to double click on it. For value data you want to set it to zero. So just highlight over the one if there's a one here. Type zero. Click on OK. And now you want to do the same thing for the Windows log on one. So again highlight over the one. Type zero. Or you can always do backspace. It doesn't really matter for the value data. You want to just make sure it's set to zero. And then click on OK to save the change for that. And now at this point you can close out of the registry editor. And we're going to open up the start menu again. This time you want to type in control panel. Best manager comes up should say control panel directly above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to set the view by over here to large icons. Scroll down to get to sound. So click on the sound button right here. Okay, so now once you have the sound window open, we can close out of the control panel items. So I would recommend clicking on play Windows startup sound right here. And then you can check to make sure that the other options are available as well. So for Windows log off and log on, make sure it says play Windows startup sound. And underneath sounds, you can select any one from the options here. So from here, I'd recommend underneath sound scheme, you want to click on this little drop down arrow, select Windows default. If you see anything that says, do you want to save the previous scheme, select no. And you want to click on apply and OK. And if you wanted to add any custom music through that screen that we were on before, I would recommend heading over to the start button. Type in C colon forward slash windows forward slash media. And then you want to hit enter. And now in here you can insert different music if you wanted to put different files in here. So if you want to have custom ringtones or sounds. The only thing to note is that it should be a .wav file or else it will not work. So I just want to put that out there. But pretty much it showed you guys everything you need to know. Hopefully this should resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.